Hello there, Leos. Welcome to your weekly reading. The first thing that is uh, coming in very strongly here is it seems as if some of you are transitioning into a new job. Um, I feel like there has been some type of um, emotional situation regarding co-workers, regarding bosses, regarding situations that have not been completely transparent in the previous job. So if you are thinking about transitioning, I feel like in your current job right now, people have not been very clear, fair, or even... Um, it's like things happening behind the scenes that you were not aware of and people were not being fair and people were um, just not very transparent with their intentions, with their communications. And I also feel like you might have also capped out when it comes to your income generating potential. What I have here is the Ace of Coins. This is the Ace of Pentacles and it denotes new work that's coming into the picture. So I definitely feel like you're leaving your job to in, uh, in favor of another job. I feel like the new job might be coming through through recommendations, through friends, family members. And I also feel like the transition that you're taking, um, it doesn't even matter if other people around you support it. It's something that you need to do for your own sake uh, with the realization that, you know, wherever you are right now, it's not working anymore. It's uh, already past its expiration date. So it's a good idea for you to transition. I see as well, there are issues regarding... Um, signing contracts okay so if you are working and you have to sign a contract i see a little bit of delay here so the transition uh the transitioning process i feel like it's not going to be completely smooth there are paperwork there are things that you have to wrap up there are projects possibly in your current job that you need to wrap up before you can move forward and then I'm also sensing um, geographical location changes for some of you. So the new job might be further away. Um, if you are moving, I feel like you might be moving with a significant um, other or a, a partner or somebody that is uh, also, you know, in alignment with you. So you have some really good things coming through. So this might be the week where you start to hear information about that. Um, I'm seeing as well some people needing to do physical exams like, um, you know, drug testing and blood tests, urine tests and things like that. Um, possibly like a fitness exam in order to uh, get into the new job. So I'm seeing a lot of military folks. Um, you have to like, um, you know, get fit or you have to pass certain threshold in order to um, get assigned to the new job. I'm also pe seeing people as well uh, needing to get their vision checked. Uh, you might be in some capacity where eyesight is really important for the new job. Um, possibly law enforcement. Um, I see military law enforcement and the element of physical fitness is really, really strong here, but I feel like you're going to pass it with, um, with flying colors. I'm also seeing some people trying to detox in preparation for these examinations. So for example, they could do like a urine test and if you've been, you know, taking control substances, I feel like you're trying to get your body uh, to flush that out and to prepare for that, which is fine. Um, either way, I, I feel like it's, uh, it's something you need to really think about right now and do it sooner rather than later. Um, I feel as if um, for many of you, where you are staying and where you are working right now, it's not really utilizing all the skills that you have to offer. And I feel like you are well aware of that. And I see some of you were waiting on the right opportunity, the right time, or um, making arrangements with another partner, or with a partner or, or with somebody else to figure out the right time to transition. Okay, so you know that you're being underemployed or you know that you're not able to um, grow anymore in the present work situation. So the, the, the transition I feel for many of you, you're not thinking too long and hard about taking this leap of faith, which is great. Um, what I'm also seeing as well is um, you have a fire sign here, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And if this is a potential love interest, I feel like this person comes and goes in and out of your life. 
and I feel like they're not really giving you, um, you know, a relationship. Okay. The person shows up here, Knight of Wands, showing up in the reverse. And I feel like they're not at this point ready to give you a commitment, to give you a, um, a, a solid foundation to build the relationship. And uh, if you are transitioning, if you're moving and they're coming back into the picture, I feel like, you know, take it for what it is. You can have fun with this person. They seem like they're a good person. It just doesn't feel to me like they're ready for any type of commitment or any type of relationship. So if that's what you're also looking for, then I feel like it could be a really great union. If on the other hand, you're looking for more, I feel that you want to, uh, you know, choose another partner. I also have as well, a water sign, Knight of Cups. And this is a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. I feel very strong Cancerian vibe with this person. And the Cancerian energy, I, I feel like it's somebody who is very solid. Um, they, they've taken a few hits, you know, along the, the, the road to growing up, to getting their career established, to, you know, get themselves in order. But I feel like right now they are at a point where they are ready. And so I'm seeing you possibly um, caught in a crossroads as well. Like, um, you know, like you might have recently started dating somebody and then um, this water sign is coming in uh, wanting to possibly reconcile, rekindle things or wanting to date you. And so you're at a point where you're trying to hedge your bets. You're trying to figure out which person to move forward with. And I'm also seeing as well, I'm also seeing as well, you are asking people, like you're asking people, you know, what should I do? And I feel like internally, you know what you should do. And this is something that you kind of need to decide on your own because other people's opinions and other, they, they have the best intentions, but I feel like they're giving you advice from a very practical perspective and your heart wants one thing your mind wants another and it's it's a it's kind of like a, a test for you to kind of rectify the two things okay rectify what your heart wants versus what your head wants and trying to decide from a space where you can make the decision on your own make a decision to honor what your heart desires um, you have a lot of support coming through uh, with a partner I feel for those of you in coupled relationships and um, I, I, I feel this energy about us versus the world. It's, it's almost like having a partner that you have been through thick and thin with, okay? And it's somebody who's very, very strong. When you are weak, they're very, very strong. And um, I feel like they step up multiple times through the course of the relationship to really give you the love and the support. And I also feel as well, they're very proud of your accomplishments, of your achievements. So even if you yourself are not proud of everything that you have achieved, or if you feel like I could also achieve so much more, I feel like they're very happy with you. They're very proud of you and they're proud of the person that you are and they are very uh, loyal to you. And I feel almost like they really, they really treat you, um, with the dignity and the respect that you've uh, you you definitely deserve but that you've always longed for in a partner so it's like no matter what they see the best in you and they they emphasize the the good traits in you um i also see as well um talks and discussions about family planning for those in relationships and uh some of you you're getting your career started and you're at a point where um you want to possibly have children, but the, the circumstances or the timing is just not right right now. Okay. It doesn't mean it's not going to happen. It just seems to me like, you know, it, it does take two for this process. And one person I feel might not be in the best frame of mind, or they might not feel like financially ready, or they might not feel like they're physically ready in order to, um, bring a child into the world. So I, I feel like talks and discussions regarding family planning and talks and discussions regarding when this is going to take place, how is it going to work out between the two of us and what are we planning to do as a couple? 
Um, I do see discussions about movement, new jobs, and family planning. So serious discussions coming through between you and a partner or between you and a significant other. Um, overall, for those who are single, for those who are single, um, I, I'm, I'm sensing that you have somebody um, coming into the picture and I feel like it could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, coming back in from the past. And this has not been completely stable in the past and but this person is making you know amends they are trying to make amends they are trying to reach out and they're promising you stability and so you want to really look at the past track record and to try to figure out you know if this is something trustworthy if they have really made great changes like leaps and bounds in in behavioral changes before you can uh, revisit that situation okay so be a little bit careful so I hope the reading is helpful for you guys, and um, I apologize for the delay. Um, I'm actually in Northern California, and we are affected by the wildfire, so there is soot and, and just a lot of particles in the air. So we're kind of like on uh, lockdown. Um, they discourage us to go outside, so I have not been feeling well, so I apologize for getting these videos out late to you guys. Um, I hope it is still helpful. I hope it resonates. and. Best of luck with everything. I'll see you guys in about a week. Okay, take care.